kind umpire of men's miseries and fates since the dawn of time. Didn't he set Rome ablaze? Yes, even handed Nero the harp. Oh, but he's retired now, so no more Caligulus. Yes, so I hear. But his seed will go on in the minds of great writers. Oh, the casualties. Thank you, you two. You made your master's jar return. I'm thrilled having you around. I'll never forget the day you came into my life. I was on the privy and, and... Bleep, bleep. I do all my own sound effects. Two spirits, both unalike in dignity, in deep space where we set our scene. From ancient grudge, both sides will not budge. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, what may fall out, no one knows. One hell-bent on destruction, the other full of distraction. One whose childlike insanity keeps the mood light and with humanity. Who will win to tell the story? Your fellow eternal spirit, whom you have cruelly enslaved, will be at hand to get his own back. Of that, I'm certain. There never was a time when he wasn't around. Gliding in his old rust bucket, he is the antic, with his not-so-trusty computer for company. He long ago lost the spaceship's manual. I committed them all to memory. Yes. To restart your keyboard, 
put your finger in the live socket and press escape. He has good days and bad days. Bleep. Oh, uh, no, um, that should be Spacebar. Spacebar. Shakespeare! Come in, Shakespeare! I'm a bit long in the microchip, but I've still got it. The Antic knew, however, that he had a great deal of transferable skills to offer. So he got to work, mind-linking with and influencing those scribes with an equal flair for the dramatic, always lending his graceful touch. You silly old fool. Always taking the credit. Mind linking wouldn't happen without my portals as the conduit. I may be a senile old duffer, but I have moments of clarity. Oh, just a moment, the, the device is stuck. Um, yes, that's better. Who could have imagined retirement would be so exciting? Let us join our ancient storyteller and our legendary scribe, as together they create Hamlet. The story might differ slightly. Isn't that right, my trusty old friend? Once more unto the breach, dear friends. Once more. Father? Father? Oh, God. I left the fire burning. I must go back. No, you didn't. But can you be sure the castle will burn and you will be responsible? Stop a moment. If your phone and then it rings, that means the phone is still intact and not burnt to a cinder. We don't uphold any historical accuracy. Stop it. Leave me alone. Let the fun begin. I knew there was something. I even tied a knot in my hanky. God, this new tin can. How do you make it work? Silly me. Can't see for looking where it says on. Father, if I don't go back, Mother will die and I will be responsible. Banish me from beyond the grave. Oh, banish that thought. thought. My foot is on the log, and if I move it off, that won't be right. I feel so anxious. Let's move back off the log. One, two. Oh no! Ursula's well, unfriended me. She's dead. Oh, that's all right. I can live with that. Right. Let's crack on. I think we know it. When shall we three meet again? Let's oh. have a look. I can do next Tuesday. Oh, actually, I'm on par for the match. To lie, I'm batting. <coughs> Shakespeare. Oh, God, get this. Adithna. Speak up! I can't hear you! Yeah? Yeah? 
Have they lost it? Is it yellow? Wood between the teeth and tweezers. God, some people are so loud and Again. Oh, this is so exhausting. Wasn't that a big snap? Haven't seen her for ages. She always talks at you. Mm. Did Dad's been die recently? Yes, had as much charm as a Veruca. Apparently, so the story goes, he took the dog out, skidded on a French fry, hit the deck and died. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that. She, she's dead. I had her stuffed, but occasionally she comes back to life when the feeling takes her. I couldn't bear to part with her. What happened? Uh, she escaped a cage and flew into the open freezer at Meg's meat and fish parlour. Staff found a beak poking up between the surf and turf. What a way to go. Still, at least she didn't die hungry. Come on now, Lord and Master of the Rebels wants this story told before I die of old age. <laughs> we must do this. Well, cross fingers. Here we go. Bless <laughs> on the coda, please. When shall we three meet again in thunder, lightning, or in rain? There to meet with. There to meet with. No, it's gone. But he's a king of my thumbs. To be or not to be? That is the question. Wouldn't you like to know? Are you Bernardo? He? Shakespeare. Come in, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, are you receiving me? Where is the spirit of my royal father you promised in earnest to show me? Well, come on, men. Be true to your word. Shakespeare. He must be the promised one. Hail to thee, Macbeth. Hail to thee, King, Father, Royal Dane. What's this naughty substance? This too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Often the everlasting and fixed is the canon against slaughter. Shall I sup? I can't decide. If, if, if I touch the spoon. My hands are then contaminated. It's fine. Spoon is perfectly clean. <laughs> yes. Your Hamlet, whose recently bereaved mother has been a naughty girl and is sleeping with your uncle. Oh, tush, maybe nothing comes about. Frailty. <laughs> My name is Woman. Who are you calling frail? I'll have you know I'm a member of the Women's Institute. Go on. Please. Thank you for calling. One of our nonagenarian stripograms will be with you shortly. We now accept contactless. It's all right. I'm on the route to the next Tuesday. Good. Your shimmy had better shape up or I'll replace you with an older model. Cease this farce! I want Hamlet! Suitably frustrated, are we? We've got the 
wrong bloody play. What a shame. You've got the wrong bloody play. Parrot. Bulls pizzle. It's you again, isn't it? Interfering. Oh, what was I thinking of? Perhaps for later. That's what a geriatric strippogram looks like. I feel like someone's just walked out of my grave. You, hag, pack up your cauldron and go. Ayo, it's the master. I can't, I've lost the box. Clear the stage now, or I will erase you all permanently. Isn't that right, Master Shakespeare? Well, I'm not sure about that. You know, there's only room for one writer in this wooden know, and that's me. Now, how about a love poem or two? Hmm? Oh, yes. <sighs> Computer, sort this mess out. I'm sorry, but that will not be possible. Though a cup of tea might be. Oh, to tell the truth, we've only got one tea bag left, and that's super glue to the washing line, as the maid kept on staining the all the tragedy clothes. of Hamlet, Master Shakespeare. 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 <clears throat> Shakespeare. Computer, beam Hamlet into the chair. Control freak. Initiate matter transmission. Initiating transmat. Welcome at last to the undiscovered country. From whose born no traveller returns. Puzzles the will. Who said that? You did. This is not Elsa, no. Very strange facelift. You sound so different. Magical speaking box. This is all a trick. A trick of the mind. Computer. Enter human subject into trance mode. Split the dimension of his conscious being and let us play. Initiate Hypno Beam. It's a bit hit and miss, but here goes. Now, Hamlet, we are alone. You. A living conscious mind in my chair. And me. I suppose you might call me an influencer. You will accept this place. This is where we play. Your mind in my chair. 
your body out front. Look and watch. My royal prince, you are immortal. But I will wear you down. I will craze and scratch your mind. You will forever be the slave of doubt. I am your author. Not forgetting your creator who will do from his pen. Terrible joke. What's on your mind, eh? It's probably me. Leave him alone. Oh, what a role that will test the slave's life. You will you never will escape never from him. We, we shall get, get to know each other very well. well. Shakespeare? Shakespeare. <laughs> he doesn't know the heart half goes on. on. You, you, you are my mind. Working tirelessly together, we weft and shape this painfully tragic yet enjoyable story. Even I have a sense of humour. Well, they're not as ridiculous as some. Rubbish. You have no sense of humour. I may I come, to, come your to your mind, mind at any moment. moment. Scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> you brute. Am I'm, I'm letting him pass. He's been waiting for ages. Father, I miss you. I need you. Help me. Help me. I can't tell anyone what I'm going through. I'm too ashamed. Father... No, I can't admit to it. Just shut up, Hamlet. But they are so painful. Father, I feel as worthless and as empty as a cracked and broken chamber pot. A cracked chamber pot you may be, but empty you are not. No, the crap still seeps out. I know I'm an incredibly gifted and talented person, but I have bad dreams. Father, I don't know whether you are real or just the coinage of my brain. Tossing on that rumbustuous rude sea we call existence. I guess I'm just too deep to be understood. If you really are the spirit of my royal father, I never got to say the one thing that a son ought to. Thank you for sending me to university. Never mind about bloody university. I've just been murdered by your uncle and he's now having it off with your mother. <clears throat> I am my father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night, and for the day confined to fast in fires, till the foul crimes in my days are burnt and purged away. Oh, my prophetic soul. My brother, that incestuous that adulterate beast with witchcraft of his wit and treacherous gifts the rings don't match but the jewel has been dealt with <laughs> <laughs> oh wicked wit and gifts that have the power so to seduce one to his shameful lust, the will of my most seeming virtuous queen. Uh. <laughs> oh, Hamlet, what a falling off was there. But soft, methinks I sent the morning air. That's my septic tank. Correction, it's you. The soap. Ran out 256 years ago. Do you mind, you two? I am a professional ghost. Brief, let me be. Brevity is the soul of wit. 
if music be the food of love. Lead on, Macduff. Sleeping within my orchard, my custom always of an afternoon, upon my secure hour, thy uncle stole with juice of cursed Hebanon in a vial. And in the porches of my ear did pour that leprous distillment. Thus was I sleeping by a brother's hand of life, of crown, of queen, at once dispatched. The glowworm shows the matin to be near, Ingins to pale his uneffectual fire. Adieu, adieu. Hamlet, remember me. Marks out of ten. Feeble. I can do it again. Go. Oh. Hypna beam failing. Hamlet's <laughs> mind is back in the room. What happened? Bernardo, Marcellus, Horatio. You promised to show me the spirit of my father returned. Do we have to go through all that again? Remain in your square. A square? Well, I don't think so. Let's look at it with an open mind. Without limiting beliefs. It's a square. Put your foot in the smoke and warm your toes. Computer, activate code 27, oblique 43. I'll stay in the chair. So, who mysterious soothsaying harpy? Where are we in the story? I am not a harpy. The ghost of your father appeared and told you that his brother had been the cause of your father's death. Poisoned in his orchard. Damn viperous villain, I'll have him. Send me back this instant. Harpy, soothsayer, witch, whatever you call yourself. Oh, I trow there is nothing like this in heaven or earth. That may be your philosophy. But no, this is your life. Our thoughts do not define us. Call me old fashioned, but I've never considered cemeteries as the place to fine tune the Bolero. I'm going viral. He bored me. A revolting. Until next time.